Hey, what's happening, guys? Nikki here, right on Highway 7. And this here is CF Markville, which is actually a mall that I went to on November 28th, 2021, our first snowfall of the year. Okay, time for me to cross. So that was the last time I've been here, a year and a half ago. Well, almost a year and a half because today's May 26th, 2023. And last time I was here was November 28th, 2021. And the last time I was here, the weather was not like this. It was not as nice as this. I don't see a single cloud in the sky, okay? But last time I was here, it was snowing. That, that's when we got our first snowfall of the year. And that was actually the same day when I made that GO Train ride on the way home. Like that video of Centennial towards Kennedy Station. This is back then I was just starting out. So my vlogs weren't really very professional unlike now. I'm, although I'm, I'm still not exactly professional. Now this here looks like a new flyer bus. Which is a YRT. Yeah, that new flyer bus must have been like from the 2000s. Even though I don't know, I I really don't know anything about the YRT buses. So I actually did film some elevator rides inside this mall. But I thought I'd just uh, get maybe one last visit of it because they're actually, at some point in the future, they're actually going to tear this mall down and replace it with some towers. I don't know if they're going to be office towers or maybe condo buildings, but, you know, they're going to replace this mall with towers. So, you know, it's good to explore the mall before it's all, before it's torn down. Now, this is basically like Sherway Gardens Mall. It's a Cadillac Fairview. Same with the Eaton Center. I don't think Vaughn Mills is a Cadillac Fairview Mall. Maybe it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not. But I've never been inside Vaughn, Vaughn Mills before. I probably should one day. I know Vaughn Mills is not far from Canada's Wonderland. Okay, there's a lot of goose shit on the sidewalk, so I have to avoid it. Or I have to watch my step, at least. My oh my! Someone ought to clean up the sidewalk. So I'm thinking in this video I should do a hybrid of a nature video and a walking video, because I know there's a city park around here. Oh, look at that! That bus is so modern. This. I don't really know. This could be a brand new uh, new flyer bus, but. You see, I don't really know, but th this is. This bus right here is brand new. It, it looks modern. Although it does look familiar, but. I think I might have seen it, uh, seen that type of bus on YouTube, but I don't think I've seen it in real life before. Man, I I don't even know what to say. Well, I probably should film a ride on the wire T bus one day. Now, since this bus is one three eight nine, if you look at TTC's perspective, that would be an Orion Seven NG hybrid bus. And there's another one of these buses over there. Okay, now time for me to cross. Oh boy, I just felt a, I, I think I just walked right through a cobweb. I 
don't know why I started my video off here. I guess it's because I wanted to start off near Markville Shopping Center. If I haven't already mentioned, I'm in Markham, Ontario, which is part of the York region. Now these buildings over there, that's, uh, I think that's basically Unionville. Because when you go towards Unionville Go Station, uh, that's, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a few tall buildings, mostly condos and apartments. Okay, there's no sidewalk here. I don't know what I'm going to do coming up. Actually, you know what? This might be the entrance to the park right here. I, I don't know. Wow, that's... That's picturesque. Aha, uh -huh. so I don't need the sidewalk anymore. I can go right in here. So now I'm entering Austin Drive Park. Okay, now it's saying removal from pop property, but it's just a city park. Come on, you could do anything. Well, no motorized vehicles, I can understand that, but no alcoholic beverages, come on. Really? Who says you can't have alcoholic beverages in a city park? This doesn't make any sense. It's not like it's going to hurt the trees or anything. Okay, so that's Highway 7 entrance. So I'm, I'm going to want to go this way. And as you, as you can see, there's a pond there. You can sort of see it behind the trees. Okay, so it says here skating and swimming are prohibited. Yeah, it doesn't look very safe. There you go, now you can get a better view of the pond. Look at that. I could see somebody walking all the way in the distance. Okay. I don't know which way to go. Because if I, if I go this way, I'm going to end up on McCowan Road. Now, McCowan Road is basically where Markville Shopping Center is. I'm going to go this way. Because uh, if I go this way, I'll end up on Kennedy Road. And then, I, and then when I go south of Highway 7, I end up in... Um, I forget the name of the park. I think it's called Todd Milden Park or something. Something like that. Okay, let's try to get a little close to the pond. Ah, this is nice. The water is green, though. Now I can understand why nobody's going to want to swim. It looks like some people have pissed in this pond. No. I mean, if it's so green, it just makes it, just makes it look like somebody has been... Somebody has pissed in there. probably at least 50 people or more because it takes more than one person to piss in a pond to make the water that contaminated. It could be just algae because because algae is a living creature. It's basically microscopic biotic elements.
Oh boy, there's so many bugs here. I, I feel like I ran into a spider web again. Well, normally this is where I would film a nature compilation video, but I can't really do a compilation video and vlog at the same time. Now this here is the Rouge River, by the way. And since it's called the Rouge River, it probably goes towards Rouge Valley Park, which is a really long way away because if you, let's put this into perspective okay right now we're far from McAllen RT station okay like Markville shopping center or even here it's just well up and well up north from McAllen RT station okay I want to go the other way and Rouge Valley Park is closer to Lake Ontario, so it's a little bit south, but I understand that um, Lake Ontario kind of increases latitude when you go a little bit east. There's a rest bench right here. And like any other hiking trails, anytime I see a junction of paths, anywhere where there's multiple paths that intersect, I just get confused. Because, you know, sometimes I end up where I don't want to be all because of that. But the thing is, I can't look at the map and film at the same time. I mean, I could if I was using a regular camera, but if I'm using a phone, I can do either do one of each. I can't do two things at once. I mean, I could pause the video and look at it, but it's kind of a pain in the you-know-what in order to do that. Okay, am I? Looks like I'm right here. This is all a little confusing. I really want to go this way and I really want to go that way, but I can't be in two places at once. I'll just go that way. So right now the path is made of sediment because now we just lost the cement. Now these are, that mini path that you see going towards the river, that's basically a fishing pier. I was actually gonna take the GO train up here on the Stouffville line, but apparently the Metrolinx has screwed up the Stouffville line. So now there's three GO train lines that have in common. There's Milton, Richmond Hill, and Stouffville. Because now the Stouffville line will run north towards Old Elm, formerly Lincolnville, later in the day, like at 3.45 p.m., okay? Like it starts its run at 3.45 p.m., and it used to run all day up until April 2023. 
I think it was like April 8th, 2023, but Go Transit or Metrolinx has made some, some service cuts. So now Stouffville only runs one way at different times of the day and they will not run on weekends. So I'm a little disappointed. Okay, so we're still in Austin Drive Park. This doesn't look right. Well, actually, you know what? I I think this might be right. I, I feel a little thrown off though. I've actually, so I've already been wasting time. I was standing at the platform at Kennedy Go Station waiting for a train that's not gonna come, okay? And now, so now I'm disappointed in it. Okay, so this is basically a wilderness. There's some wild animals living here. There's a nice playground over there. You know what? This doesn't sound right. I'm going to go back in. But I don't understand. I mean, well, actually, you know what? The reason why they messed up the Stouffville line is because they're, that's the line where they're doing maintenance. They are, they're still doing construction at Kennedy Go Station. So like, you know, November 8th, 2021 and August 18th, 2022, I had to board the train on the west side of the platform, but now you have to board it on the east side of the platform because now they're revitalizing the west side. And so they cut the, they cut the service to allow time, allow more time for construction that's taken place at Kennedy and Agent Court without hassling the construction workers all the time. So it's a bit of a disappointment for me. Wow, I can really feel the warmth and the sun on me. The sun actually feels good. Temperature right now, if I haven't already mentioned, it's 20 degrees centigrade, which is exactly 68 degrees in Fahrenheit. So we just have to go around the pond. It's not too far away. I always get annoyed every time I find out that there's been service changes. So I come, I waste my time waiting for a train that's not gonna come. All because they cut service. I mean, it's, I always hate it when that happens. Cause I'm so used to Stouffville line being like a, being a commuter line, just like Lakeshore and Barry. Now Kitchener is technically a commuter line, but only thing is though, it does not run on weekends, but it's not as bad as any of the others. And you know what? Milton and Stouffville line definitely have things in common because 
first of all, now now they made the Stouffville line just like the just like the Milton line. Okay, they only want to run run one ways at different times of the day, but also. The Milton line stops at Kipling Station and the Stouffville line stops at Kennedy Station. And Kipling and Kennedy are both terminal stations on line two. And they, like, and also the names of these two stations both start with the same letter. And Kipling Station used to look like the platform at Kipling Station used to look like Kennedy Station, except the red lines were white. The red walls were white, were, I mean, not white, yellow. I mean, green. Gosh, my brain isn't working very well. But Kipling used to be green, and then they revitalized it to white. And Kennedy is red. So there you go. And they both have GO stations. So much is going on these days. They even earlier this month on May 7th, they had to close. Oh, is that there's a trail over there? They had to close Queen, Queen Street off between Bay Street and Victoria Street because of construction on the Ontario line. Oh, look at that, there's a snail down there. Uh, but the snail is kind of dirty. And also the, the... The bus platform, I haven't seen it yet, but the bus platform at Main Street Station is now closed off due to work at the bus bay. So now, to board the buses at Main Street Station, you have to board outside of the, you have to like walk out of the subway station and board the buses from there you actually had to do the same at royal york and royal york was like that for like two years yeah literally two years okay these are leaves of three poison ivy so let's get down try to avoid it Okay, let's go back out. Okay, I have to bend down really low because... Uh-oh! That poison ivy just touched my face. Yikes. Well, that's the thing, if it touches your skin, you know, it becomes very itchy and you get an allergic reaction. I don't know how allergic I am to poison ivy, but since I just since it just touched my face, it could do me in. But my face is so vulnerable. Well, I'm sure it's treatable one way or the other. I mean, I really hope nothing happens to me. But if, in worst case scenario, something does happen, well, I'm sure it's treatable. And like usual, I get the whole path to myself so far. Let's see where this goes. Okay, now this looks like a meadow right here, sort of. 
I bet you you're gonna see coyotes around here in the middle of winter. That's where the coyotes like to hang out at. You know what? I think this pass is actually a shortcut. Woohoo! It says here, bridge, bridge slippery when wet. Well, I don't have to worry about it now because it's not wet at all. And we're walking over the Rouge River. As you can see. Somehow it kind of reminds me of that bridge right next to my old house. Like, I mean, not far from my old house, like I was showing you guys last week, where that abandoned picnic bench is. I guess you're just walking over a bridge just over the river, but it kind of looks the same here as it does there. It's, look, according to the seven day forecast, it's supposed to be hot next weekend. I mean, next week. I mean, it's 20 degrees now, but it's gonna be like 22, 24 degrees this weekend. And then this, and then next week, it's, we're gonna be back to summer-like weather like we were in April, which is expected because this is what late May is supposed to feel like. We can always picture ourselves in late May going out in t-shirts and shorts, and that's the way it's going to be this year. That's the thing. You have this summer-like weather for that one week in mid-April, and then after that, it turns cold again until late May. Like it's like the nice weather is not going to come back until late May. So there you go. Okay, and now I'm going to be walking underneath Highway 7. Here's the map of the park. Ooh, look at that, it even gives you ideas of what's there. It even shows you the different type of trees there, there are. Well, I already, wait, the wall pond? I was actually wondering what that name of the pond is, but it says wall pond, but I know it has a name, but that's stupid thing right in the middle is blocking its way that stupid chip the corrosion is blocking the way it says walk or i think it says walk something pond walker pond i i have no idea that that corrosion is in it in a spot that i don't want it to be well anyways i think i've walked okay i, I don't even know where i am but i think i'm right here but i've already Walk by Basswood, potentially Sumac, Manitoba Maple, White Cedar, and Green Ash, and many others, but I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to list it all. So I think this right here might be, it's either Highway 7 or Kennedy Road. And here's a pedestrian underpass bridge. I think that might be Kennedy Road. I get confused.
somebody wrote a bad word here. Like, look at this. See this? That's a bad word. I. That's what people like to do. They like to put graffiti on underpass bridges. And they even put swear words on it, too. Okay, so now we're in a different park. We're not, I'm not in Austin Drive Park anymore. I'm now in a different park. I still forget the name. Okay, maybe I should cross this bridge right here. Or maybe not. No, I'll just stay right here. So I don't know where I'm going to end up at. I'm hoping to end up at the Unionville area. Which is actually where the York University Markham campus is. And they're also building an apartment building and an amenity room. Like they're building an apartment building with, it's basically gonna be three separate buildings, but combined in one area. But I know it's not far from the York University Markham campus. Okay, fine, maybe I should walk to the left. And because the rule with cycling, it's like driving. you got to stay to the right. Now, I don't know what they do in UK, Japan, or Australia, where the cars drive on the left. I wonder if cyclists ride their bikes on the left, too, in these countries. Now it's looking a little bit like the Dawn Valley. It's kind of giving me the Dawn Valley vibe. If I can think outside the box, if I want to get a little bit closer to Unionville GO Station, I was kind of thinking of taking a GO bus down to Union Station. But to do that, 
you know, I have to get a little bit closer to the Unionville GO station, but I think if I go a little bit south, I mean, I think it's both, yeah, I think it's mostly like west and south of Centennial because between Unionville and Centennial, the train bends east. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna end up in an unknown area. This building looks unfamiliar. It doesn't even look like someone's house. It looks kind of like an, a retirement home. This is too big to be a house. I think it might be either a, a duplex, a triplex, or it could be a retirement home. But now I'm about to get out on, get back out into traffic. Because now the path is ending. Oh, there's a, a sign showing me the GO station. But this is a little confusing. The GO sign is pointing left, but Unionville is pointing right. I'm probably going to take the GO sign's word for it. Okay, this here is Denby Valley. Yeah, chances are it turns into three different parks around here. So basically, I walked through Denby Valley Park. Okay, this orange dot shows that I'm right here. Oh, it's called Walden Pond. Okay, okay. Good to know. So basically, that pond that I saw is called Walden Pond. So chances are I missed that other park. That Todd Milden Park, I still forget the name. But I think I'm on Kennedy Road now. Oh no, no, it's called Mildred Temple Park. That's what that park is called, Mildred Temple. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm probably just gonna hike to the GO station myself because I've already been filming for too long. So yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe and uh, take care everyone.